buddy Dad Stalker here. So I thought I'd talk about some more of the uh, the uh, unusual uh, YouTube channels that I happen to watch that you may find interesting. Now, if you actually follow me on Instagram or heard me talk once in a while, I do mention the fact that I've got some cats and I've had cats for quite a few years. And uh, there is actually a couple cat channels I do watch besides uh, the big cat Derek and uh, and uh, the Max cat, which are actually the, the big cats. And the one channel I watch is, a, is believe it or not, it's actually a cartoon called Simon's Cat. And uh, I started watching it because I just happened to stumble across it. And the cartoons are so well drawn and well thought out that I just, I just found them absolutely fascinating because like there's very little uh, audio, like the characters don't really talk. It's all done by expressions and, uh, and such. And if you actually, actually uh, ever had a cat, Pretty much would get all the, all the jokes in, uh, in in the cartoons, and uh, it's actually uh, you know the, the the cartoons are usually a couple minutes long and they're just really enjoyable to watch. Now the other uh, cat channel I watch is Cold and Marmalade, and uh, Cold and Marmalade are two cats, uh, an orange tabby cat and a long haired black cat, and they're like best buds. And uh, they just sort of like whatever they're up to with their owners. And uh, Cole is actually a, uh, a cancer survivor. And uh, I think he actually has uh, a FIP, which is a cat disease. I'll, I'll actually put up here what, what it is. And he's, he's just doing great. And they're just entertaining cats. Uh, the, the couple that own the cats, they've, uh, they live in the U.S. And they've, uh, they've moved from place to place. And they take the cats with them and it's just interesting you know whatever they're doing but, but it's also interesting because they uh, every once in a while they'll do some sort of enrichment where they just do they build like a a, a a giant fort out of some cardboard boxes and just walk, turn the cats loose and you get to watch the cats being cats you know around a cardboard fortress and it's uh, it's pretty interesting it's uh, Again, the videos aren't very long, but they're always uh, entertaining. Now, the other one I watch is, it's unusual. It's called Talking Kitty Cat. Now, this is uh, done by a guy who's a, mu a musician, and he doesn't put out videos that often, but he, uh, it's sort of the story, imaginary story between Sylvester, uh, Random Kitty, and, and so forth, and the guy, you know, basically talks with, for the cats, but it's it's sort of like if Al Bundy was uh, a cat. And uh, it's not meant for kids. It's definitely meant for adults, but it's so stupid funny. Uh, I'll put the, like I say, I'm putting the links in for all of them, but I'll put one in there. Uh, it's just like the whole idea is that you, you know the, you got cats moving their their mouth and whatnot, obviously meowing for something, and having to collect enough video over a period of time to do a five-minute video because you know cats don't want to never do what you want them to do, but just the idea that he's getting these cats to meow or whatever so that he can put the voices in and edit it and stuff—it must just be horrendous to do it, but. It is really entertaining, and I uh, I gotta highly recommend it. Like whenever a, a talking cat video comes out, I gotta watch it. But if if you are gonna watch it, you need to go back and watch quite a few episodes because if you just if you watch the latest episode, you probably won't get what's going on because there's a lot of references with various things that have happened in the past. So sometimes you might not know exactly what's going on there. But again, it's it's something worth watching. So. So anyways, again, I'll have links in the description for all these uh, channels, and uh, let me know if you like them. Dan Stalker, signing off.